You've heard me talk a lot on this channel and on my blog and my podcast. You've heard me talk a lot about the importance of having standards for your dating life. I'm always telling people to be picky, be choosy, because who you choose to invite into your life on a long-term basis, in the role of intimate partner, shall we say, is literally the most consequential decision you will ever make in terms of your overall life trajectory, your happiness, and all the rest. So it's crucial to have standards, in my view. But what happens if you're out there in the dating world and you're finding that, you know what, the world is never living up to your standards? Is it ever a good idea to change your standards or compromise on your standards when you're in the dating market? In today's video, I'm gonna to try to answer those questions. My name is Zachary Stockhill, and since 2013, I've been helping men and women from all over the world overcome retroactive jealousy, overcome obsessive jealousy, and often save their relationships. If you'd like more information about my products and services, or you'd like to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, please visit my website at retroactivejealousy.com. I received a comment recently on a YouTube video that I did that gave me pause, and it's a comment that I've, I've received several times before, and I thought it was probably about time that I addressed it. And the gist of the comment was basically from a young man, I assume, I assume he's young, saying basically, I'm out here in the dating market and I'm dating all these people and it doesn't seem like anyone's really living up to my dating standards. Is it time to lower my standards, was the language that he used. So first off, just to kind of set the overall tone for this video, if it isn't already clear, my job and my motivation is not to impose my personal dating standards, shall we say, on anyone else. Do I have standards for my dating life? Absolutely. Do I think that the world should share my standards? Absolutely not. <laughs> different standards work for different people. You're gonna want different things out of your relationship, I would imagine, than I want out of mine. So I'm not trying to impose my views, my beliefs, my values on anyone else. My message is simply to people, have values, have standards, give this stuff some thought, you know? I see a lot of people out here who seem to just kind of fall into relationships. It just kind of happens almost accidentally, or they believe that, oh, fate brought this person into my life, so I have to stick it out and all this stuff. And there's a certain beauty, frankly, in some of the ways of thinking about relationships that are closer to those people. However, at the end of the day, my personal philosophy is this is way too important a decision to leave to fate. I think it's very important to have certain standards in my dating life, and I think you should too, frankly. That said, if you are dating in the 21st century and it seems like no one is living up to your standards, I would pose a few questions to you. Number one, are you living up to your own standards? I see a lot of people, frankly, mostly guys who write to me saying that, oh, these women nowadays are X, Y, and Z, and I have these certain standards and they're not living up to that. And frequently I'll throw questions back at them and I'll get the answer, well, yeah, like I've made this mistake and I made that mistake and I've done this and I've done that, but you know, well, it doesn't matter. It's not important. You know, my standards are my standards. And it's like, okay, fair enough. But I think it's unrealistic to expect the world to live up to your standards if you yourself are not even living up to your own standards. So that's the first thing. Are you living up to your own standards? My second question would be, why do you find these particular standards important? Why is this stuff important to you? And I believe that you should have a factual, logical, rational answer to that question. A comprehensive, thorough answer to that question. Why certain values, certain traits, certain characteristics that you're looking for in the opposite sex or the same sex as the case may be, that you're looking for in someone you're dating, why is this stuff important? Why does it matter? And again, I think the answer should be logical, rational, fact-based. Because I find that a lot of people have standards, in quotation marks, but they don't really have a real explanation for them. They don't have any real justification for these standards. And so that's fine, I guess. But my view is you're not going to be able to bring the right people into your life if you don't have a really solid, deep, comprehensive understanding of exactly what you're looking for, but also why that's important why you're looking for certain traits in the person you're dating, why you're keeping an eye open for certain characteristics and or certain red flags. Why is this stuff important? My basic belief is the more you understand in detail about exactly what you're looking for and why it's important, the more likely it is you're gonna call that person into your life. So why are your standards important? I'd also ask you, are your standards somewhat realistic? given the realities, frankly, of the 21st century sexual marketplace. This is not your grandpa's world anymore. It's not my grandfather's world anymore. We live in the era of Tinder and Bumble and all these apps, and I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. It simply is. So 
If you're dating over a long period of time, multiple people, and you're finding that you're running into the same issue over and over and over and over and over again, I'm not saying you should necessarily compromise your standards. However, it might be time to reevaluate them and really think hard about whether you have any chance of finding what you're looking for in the 21st century. Again, I'm not saying it's good, I'm not saying it's bad, it simply is. I'm not necessarily interested in whether the world is getting better or worse. I'm more interested in dealing with the cold, hard reality of the modern world, you know, good, bad, and ugly. And the first step towards being able to deal with reality better in a more effective way is acknowledging reality as it is and not necessarily the way you want it to be. I mean, along similar lines, another question, are your standards serving you? Are they making you happier? Are they improving your life? Is this stuff working for you? You know, there's the old line, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? And when it comes to some of this stuff, some of these standards in your, in your dating life, that question could be applicable. Because if you have these ironclad standards, but they're making you miserable and they're making you frustrated again and again and again and again, you know, at a certain point, it might be worth asking if you want to keep swimming against this particular current. Do you really want to die on that hill? Is this stuff making your life better? I'd also add that my general philosophy for all of this stuff, for having standards in your dating life, for keeping an eye open for red flags, for being careful about who you invite into your life, my firm belief, which has served me very well, hopefully it'll serve you well too, but my firm belief about all this stuff is you can have just about everything you want, but you probably can't have everything you want. In other words, you can have like 90, 95% of what you want. I really believe that. But you're probably not going to have 100% of what you want. When it comes to anything in life, when it comes to the particular physique you want, the way you want to look physically, when it comes to the friend group that you want to cultivate, when it comes to your intimate partner, when it comes to your intimate partner's past, there's probably always going to be something that you don't have to love, but you probably don't love it. It's probably not going to be your favorite thing in the world to think about. But I think if you go looking for perfection in human beings, in relationships and all this stuff, in dating, you're going to be frustrated every time. As I often say, you're going to drive yourself and others absolutely crazy because standards, in my view, are absolutely essential, but perfection does not exist. Perfection doesn't exist in relationships. Perfection does not exist in human beings. So definitely have standards. It's important, but don't go looking for perfection. It is a recipe for driving yourself absolutely mad. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for spending a bit of time with me today. If you benefited from this video, got anything out of this, please take a minute to let me know by clicking the like button below, leaving a comment with your thoughts, good, bad, ugly, I would like to hear it. And also be sure you are subscribed to my channel as well to be notified of new videos moving forward. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you again very soon.